the darkness seems so strong and you just can't go on pray for your helping hand you'll see the sun will rise again you'll find the strength to carry on up to heaven we you belong cuz life is but a journey for us all. assalamu alaikum dear viewers from around the world Welcome to a new episode of your program, Building a Better Future. I'm still your host, Malik, and I'm still here with our very special guest, all the way from Denver, Colorado. He is the Imam of the Colorado Muslim Society. You've probably seen him online at www.hooded.tv or on YouTube at islamway 71 or his website, www.kareemabuzaid.com. You've seen him on The Righteous Companions, on The Inevitable Journey, and many more programs. And now we have him here, alhamdulillah. We're learning so much from the Sheikh, and we were talking about in the last two episodes, women. How to choose the correct spouse. Sheikh Kareem, we've been spending a lot of time on this topic. Did you want to continue, or can we move on to something else? Because we, I think we got the picture. We know what we need in a wife. No. Not no, yet? Not yet. There's, how important no. is it? Why is it so important? Alhamdulillah. Wa salatu wa salamu ala rasulillah. Wa ashadu an la ilaha illallahu wahdahu la sharika lah. Wa ashadu anna sayyidana wa nabiyana muhammadan abdullahi wa rasoolah. Malik and my viewers, assalamu alaikum wa rahmatullah. You probably heard me narrating this hadith before, but I'm going to narrate it to you, the same exact hadith, but in a different context. Okay. Hadith al-Bara' ibn Azib, radhi Allahu anhuma, والحديث في صحيح الإمام البخاري The story of the battle of Uhud The Prophet صلى الله عليه وسلم appointed 50 archers to stay on the top of the mountain and he told them never ever ever abandon your post don't abandon your post don't leave your post they left their post. The whole, um, the whole army, the whole ummah lost, paid the price. The Muslims were victorious. They were winning. Because everybody kept serving in his or her post. Mm. What happens now, Malik? Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala appointed the women to be the one who gets pregnant, the one who delivers, the one who takes care of the child for two years, solely, solely, hers. وَالْوَالِدَاتُ يُرْضِعْنَ أَوْلَادَهُنَّ حَوْلَيْنِ كَامِلَيْنِ And the mothers should nurse their babies for two years. The woman abandoned her post. Oh, that's why we're losing. What is her post, Jake? Where is her post? At home. The home is the post for yes. her. Yes. And I'm sorry, I know I'm addressing a lot of viewers in, in America and Europe. And I come from there, by the way, and I still insist that is your post, sister. Uh, this does not mean that uh, you deprive yourself from the best of knowledge. As a matter of fact, if you look at the trend now in the West, uh, homeschooling. Homeschooling. Because schools are very dangerous now. You send your, ba your, 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 your child to a public school, you're committing suicide. And we're going to get into schools more in the, in the future. But, Sheikh, why can't we, we send the kid to the nursery, let the woman work a little bit? Well, you know, this is the modern way, isn't it? This People is, might say this. This is a non-Muslim woman. This is not the Muslim way. No. This is not the Muslim way. Uh, you, you see, uh, I was gonna, I'm going to go to schools, inshallah, but very quickly, this, has to be, this is tied to what we're doing here, that actually I'm, I'm looking for a highly educated woman to be at home, probably a PhD. Why? Because if your child is homeschooled, she must be the best in science, the best in math, the best in language arts beside the Islamic sciences of course sciences 
So uh, don't, don't tell because uh, because when when we hear when we when we speak like this, especially people like myself, they say, "Look at the Muslims; they are backward. They they just want their women to be at home." Yes, like, exactly. Like like uh, toys. La, no, I want the high the the, the, the most or the high the, the most educated women. To this be is at another home. criteria for us: good education, because yes. they're teaching our children. Yes, they are Excellent. teaching our children. So what happened is, our women decided to go outside and compete in the field where the man job is right is to work and provide for the family men are the sustainers men are the sustainers of the family they provide for the family so the wives left their post uh, again i, I want to add to this that listen sisters i'm not just saying that your job is at home if you fulfill your responsibilities inside your home please go outside and help the society excellent point please but not at the expense of your house prioritize your priority your post you see what happened with these companions who were co commanded to stand on the, on, on the top of the mountain is to watch the back of the Muslims their job was not to collect the, uh, the, the, the bodies of war no by the way, uh, these companions, uh, they had no plan to take it for themselves because they know it's a major sin to take from the booty of war before it's distributed. It's actually a major sin and you receive a punishment in the graveyard if you do this. But okay. they just wanted to help the ummah collect it. No, that's not your job. Right. The same exact thing. Ah, I see your The point. same yeah. exact thing. Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala appointed you a certain job, sister. That not to collect job. wealth. I like how you tied that in. That's yeah. very good. Not to collect wealth. Your job is to guard the back of the Ummah. And you are oh, the right. source of the future. You are the one who gets pregnant. Uh, there is a, a somebody, uh, a very famous, his name is Ahmed Shawqi. He said this, Al-Ummu Madrasa, Ida a'adattaha a'adatta sha'ban tayyib al-a'raqi. The mother is a school. If you prepare the mother right, you're going to bring forth the best generation. Ummu Sulaym. Malik, Umm Sulaim, this woman that, that, that must be an everlasting role model for sisters all over the world. Umm Sulaim, the mother of Anas ibn Malik, radiallahu an, a sahabi, Umm Sulaim, a female companion of the Prophet sallallahu alayhi wa sallam. She used to breastfeed Malik, uh, Anas, huh? Anas ibn Malik, the baby. And she used to say, I'm waiting for the messenger to migrate to Medina so you can go and serve him. The milk that comes out of the, uh, of the mother, if it carries iman, if it carries faith, it will penetrate that child. You know, uh, uh, in Egypt, uh, in the southern part, uh, the, we were brought up with these soap operas. That's why it's still stuck in, our mind. Echoes, stuck in my mind. Uh, we used to watch these soap operas where, you know, we have vengeance. If somebody kills one of your family, you have to kill that person. This is the culture. Of the the Egypt. cultural practices. In, 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 I okay. mean, it's, well, basically, it's really based on Islam because, okay. uh, but this is not how it's done. You don't do it on your own. You must go through the, the system. The court system. The, the court system. Uh, but, but here is, if somebody kills the father of a, a little baby, huh? And, and uh, you know, she, she was pregnant while her, fa her husband got killed. She refuses to marry. And then when she delivers the baby, she breastfeed him. As, as she breastfeed him, I want you to get your vengeance for your father. Because he has a hope in the next generation. Yes. I want you to take care of this man who killed my husband, who killed your father, who orphaned you. Breastfeeding. Imagine this, this boy coming out. So uh, uh, the mother, the mother, the mother, the mother is the key, is the cornerstone. And that is why we're focusing on, 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 on our sisters. Our sisters, uh, Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala told them in the Quran, وَلَا تَتَمَنَّوْ مَا فَضَّلَ اللَّهُ بِهِ بَعْضَكُمْ عَلَى بَعْضٍ لِلْرِجَالِ نَصِيبٌ مِمَّا اكْتَسَبُ وَلِلْنِسَاءِ نَصِيبٌ مِمَّا اكْتَسَبُ Don't uh, wish what Allah has appointed the, the men to do. Don't wish for it, for don't that which. Don't try to fill that role. You, you, see, you understand, you see, you got to accept the decree of Allah upon you. Allah made you a woman. 
Allah made me a man. But Sheikh in America, they're going to say, you're not very modern. We have equality between men and women. What Fine. happened? Fine, equality. I'm not talking about this. But uh, you see in Islam, the rule of, one, of women is already identified. Okay, it's clear. And the rule of, you, you see the rule of women uh, 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 in one verse in Surah Al-Baqarah. Nisa'ukum harthul lakum. The women are the earth that produces. You are the earth. Okay. Uh, when you want to plant something, Malik, you want, some, you, you want to plant something that is, you, you want it to be good. Uh, uh, what do you do? You go in your backyard if you have a house. You put the little seed in there. But in what, in what piece of earth? The best one you You look find. for the best one. This is our wife. We want to find the best yes, piece of earth. The best one. And so subhanallah, seed, so subhanallah, I want the brothers and sisters to look into Surah Al-Hajj. I think Surah number five, uh, verse number five. Uh, I believe it's, uh, it's, uh, it's, it's uh, uh, look at this. يا أيها الناس إن كنتم في ريب من البعث فإنا خلقناكم من تراب ثم من نطفة ثم من علقة ثم you know the verse that talks about the process of the babies the embryo you know yes the yes the development of the the development in the womb سبحان الله الله سبحانه وتعالى is talking about the baby being developed from a sperm into a piece of flesh into into right. into 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 the stages, the of, stages of, of the development in the womb of the mother and then at the end of the of the verse two two uh, lines at the end of the verse and i encourage the brothers and sisters in islam to look at this verse in surah al-hajj in the first page of surah al-hajj allah subhanahu wa ta'ala says exactly like earth you place a seed on it it goes down 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 and then grows okay so that is what that is what women are women are harth Women are the fertile. To the fertile earth for us. Earth for us in order to produce that right generation. And that is why we have to focus on our sisters. Okay. We have to let them know Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. I tell the sisters, look, Imam al-Bukhari, who brought him up? His mother. The greatest geniuses of this ummah were brought up by their mothers. Not by their fathers. The Sufyan al-Thawri, his mother, brought him up. Imam al-Shafi'i, his mother, mother brought him up. Rabi'at al -Ra his mother, mother, that's his name, Rabi'at Abdul Rahman, Ibn Abdul Rahman, his mother brought him up. Th these are names. Al-Bukhari, the one, huge, yeah. huge names in Giants the Ummah. Giants in the Ummah. Giants yeah. in the Ummah. Their mothers brought them up. Shaykh, we have to go to break, but I want to talk about the next segment. I'm sorry to interrupt you. If we've already, we want to plant a seed in the best piece of earth. If we already planted a seed in the not uh, the maybe a bad earth or not so good how can we water somehow and improve the soil so to speak okay inshallah we'll just the next segment stay tuned you guys we have a, a more with uh sheikh kareem abu zaid assalamu alaikum up to heaven heaven where i belong in this program inshallah we'll be discussing the major sins in islam the way that the Prophet Muhammad sallallahu alayhi wasallam had taught us. Why the neighbor does not care about their neighbor anymore? Why does the father does not care about the son anymore? Why does the mother does not care about her daughter anymore? There's major sins that we need to be very far away in our lives. So we could get and get the pleasure of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. Obtain the pleasure of Allah azza wa jal. As long as we commit those major sins, Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala would not be too pleased from us. And Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala will punish those who commit those major sins. Keep away from what Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala had forbidden and you'll be the closest worshipper to Allah azza wa jal. It is our duty in front of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala to keep away from what Allah azza wa jal had forbidden. As when we commit those sins, especially those major sins, remember you are displeasing your Lord and you are bringing upon the curse and the anger of your Lord upon you. To heaven, heaven where I belong. Welcome back to your viewers. Thank you for staying tuned. Shake in the last episode, we're talking about planting a seed in the best part of the earth. What if we planted the seed in something that we, it's not the best part? How can we improve it? How can we water it? How can we reform it? First of all, you have to say, Inna lillahi wa inna ilayhi raji'oon. Uh, you know, if you have not got married yet, dare you go for somebody but a believing woman? 
and subhanallah in that hadith that we quoted uh, Malik hadith Abi Hurairah for Sahihain a woman is asked for marriage for four things right. the Prophet sallallahu alayhi wa sallam said this fadfar win he said win that's the, the literal meaning of the word win the religious one okay. win her as if she's a prize prize as or if win her yeah win her right that is the one that you need fadfar win her if you already married mm -hmm. and you have not uh, chose your wife you have not chosen your wife on the basis of religion family lineage money beauty you you're still responsible you can't just divorce give up and leave the kids no to her. no look at this verse ya ayyuha alladhina amanu qu anfusakum wa ahlikum nara wa quduha an-nas wal hijar o ye who believe safeguard safeguard listen to this yourselves okay and your ahl ahl here consensus of the explanation of the word ahl in that context the explanation by our righteous predecessors as zawja wal awlad the wife and the children your people meaning your wife and children yes your household safeguard them from a hell fire the fuel of which people and rock guarded by angels tough stern they disobey Allah not and they do what they're commanded to do so your job instead of being focused on the children you're just gonna have to focus on the wife as well okay and you have to be patient um, and I tell you the fact and, and I'm talking to a lot of brothers and, and I know what I'm talking about because this is out of experience the fact that you have not chosen that wife Malik to begin with on the basis of Deen on the basis of Deen that means you are not religious either both of them are at fault yes. there, but we can still change the situation absolutely for the absolutely right but uh, I, I'm going I'm going, going somewhere with, okay. I'm going somewhere with that I want to say you have to be patient now okay if Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala has blessed you as a husband that you uh, transformed okay alhamdulillah you became devoted you became somebody who is sticking to the deen praying his five times uh, guarding his eyes guarding his chastity taking care of his responsibilities okay remember that wife is one of your responsibility excellent and re you remember you have to give her time you have to give her time you have to build up you cannot just expect her to be uh, an angel overnight. an angel overnight you can you have to allow time for her because all of us uh, whether we like it or not are in our way to Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala but some of us are closer right some of us are still behind right so you have maybe to take your hand take it with you this is your responsibility that is your responsibility and and, and subhanallah look at this uh, this verse uh, Malik uh, Imam al-Bukhari rahimahullah in his sahih he compiled the whole chapter who called babu ya ayyuhalladhina amanu qu anfusakum wa ahlikum nara chapter and then he said oh ye who believe safeguard yourselves and your family a hellfire that's it and then you compile the verse that i just quoted okay. underneath it and he compiled another hadith hadith abdullah ibn umar in in in, 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 in and, and he said qala sallallahu alayhi wa sallam the prophet sallallahu alayhi wa sallam says ala kullukum ra'in wa kullukum mas'ulun an ra'iyati all of you are responsible and all of you will be asked in the day of resurrection about your responsibility and then he listed al imam ra'in fi qawmi al imam is eh, the leader imam is, does not mean imam of the masjid general meaning well of course the imam of the masjid is also responsible oh. but uh, what is meant by the imam al muslimin okay is responsible for his people responsible for his people al imam ra'in wa huwa mas'ulun an ra'iyati and then wal rajul ra'in fi ahli bayti and the man is responsible for his household because he is the head of the household in the side of the religion of Islam. And he is responsible for his wife, he is responsible for his children. 
and listen to this hadith Malik and if there is a hadith that scares you it would be this one <laughs> okay. Salah, this one look at this <laughs> and, and, and I really I, I want to speak to my brothers here I love you all for the sake of Allah but hear this hadith with your heart hadith Ma'aqal ibn Yasar radiyallahu an wal hadith fi sahih imam muslim qala sallallahu alayhi wa sallam ma min abidin yastar'ihi allahu ra'iyya thumma yamut yawma yamut wa huwa ghashu allah illa wa harramahu allahu ala al jannah anyone anyone any servant of Allah in whose hand Allah places an entrust and a trust, right. a responsibility. And he dies the day that he dies, betraying that trust, Allah will make that person haram for Jannah. Oof. And, our, and the trust is here also our, a woman in our children. Women and the children. Yeah, this is our trust, so we have to take care about them. وهذا في صريح القرآن. This is also in the Quran. يا أيها الذين آمنوا, O you who believe, لا تخونوا الله. Betray not Allah, one Rasul and the Messenger, وتخونوا أماناتكم وأنتم تعلمون and betray your entrusts while you know. So, a uh, shahid or the important thing here is this is a collective effort. This is a collective effort. Uh, the children are uh, a trust uh, that was placed in the hands of the father the hands of the mother and that is why it is substantial Sub it's important life and death okay. that you choose the right partner listen to this hadith ya, ya malik uh, uh, allah subhanahu wa ta'ala basically delivered in your hand a muslim baby we were born muslims then in the hand of the father and the mother. And then what happened? And then the father and the mother will interfere with that natural, natural birth. birth. And spiritual development. And spiritual development. They take him to Judaism. They take him to Christianity or others. Oh, huh? ah. So your job is to keep this. Now you want a partner to help you with this. This is not a joke here. Okay, if you're seeking children just to, to, to carry on your name, if you're seeking children just to be proud of them in front of people, or to help you in, with, with your work, with your business, that's another issue. But I tell you, you're going to pay for this. So you need the right partner, and that is why we focus so much on the mother, because the mother is the place where you are going to place the seed for the child, and she happens to be the one who will nurse that child for years for years of course for years for years and the relationship is so uh, the, the the baby by by, by, by inclination they love the mother yes, they love natural, the mother she will affect she will affect your child she will affect your child and that is why never go for just beauty never go for just money never go for just lineage go for the deen because if the woman has deen she will give deen if the woman does not have deen, she will not give religion to the child. And this is a key. This is a cornerstone, Malik, uh, once it comes to uh, building our next generation. Remember the qualities and the attributes that we, uh, we, we wanted to instill. Look, sincerity, right. loving Allah, patience, taqwa. ihsan, taqwa, loving the akhirah. If the mother doesn't have it. Who's going to give it to her? Who's going to give it? It's not enough from one. We need no. both. Okay. Both. What about, Shaykh, we've talked a lot about the women, and you made some wonderful and excellent points. Can we get into the men? Next episode, inshallah. Okay. And I want to say to the sisters that, uh, yes, the man is the one who normally uh, initiates the, the marriage. Right. Because that's, the, the woman always is the one who is to be asked. Yes. You see, Allah elevated her. She is to be asked, always. Okay. But I want to tell you something. Like Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala, said in the Quran وَأَنْكِحُوا الْأَيَامَ مِنْكُمْ وَالصَّالِحِينَ مِنْ عِبَادِكُمْ وَإِمَائِكُمْ and marry the righteous from amongst you that means uh, women and men uh, Rasul sallallahu alayhi wa sallam also said that marry a woman with deen win the one with the deen with the religion also uh, Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala in the tongue of the Prophet sallallahu alayhi wa sallam appointed the right husband for you. He also classified the person whom you should marry. Okay. Fi Sunan al Tirmidhi, Qala sallallahu alayhi wa sallam, the Prophet sallallahu alayhi wa sallam says, Ida jaakum man tardawna 
خلقه ودينه فزوجوا إلا تفعلوا تكون فتنة في الأرض وفساد كبير Something comes to you asking the women under your guardianship to marry in marriage and you like their character, their manners and you like their deen you better pick her pick that person okay because because i've seen families where the the woman seems to be very righteous covering herself and seems very strong and the father isn't and the result the children come out not very religious so we'll talk about that inshallah in the next episode stay tuned you guys we've been talking a lot about the women now it's the women's time uh, the females time to listen to what are the qualities of a man so if you're married or already married or not married yet you want to check you don't want to miss the next episode of your program Building a better future. Until next time, Assalamu alaikum wa rahmatullahi wa barakatuh. And when the darkness seems so strong, and you just can't go on, pray for your helping hand. You'll see the sun will rise again. You'll find the strength to carry on up to heaven with you belong cause life is but a journey for us all we cry we laugh we run sometimes we fall but through it all always we call god never gives a burden to talk